These gentlemen were hoping for to speak with you, sir. Very good, Colour Wormwood. Will you be wanting for me to remain, sir, in case there has any questions? I believe I'm sufficient to the task. Very good, sir. You'll forgive Colour Wormwood's familiarity, gentlemen. Being not long in India, I find myself beneath his wing. In Sign Beauclair, 69th foot. Colonel Richard Sharp, late of the South Essex. Sergeant Major Harper. Your pardon, Colonel. You may dispense formalities, Mr. Buckler. I hold no present commission. Mr. Harper and myself are about some private business upon the Governor's request. And yourself? I command a small prisoner escort, sir, bound for Calcutta. I'd hardly call such numbers small, Mr. Buckler. Well, have you in your charge? Some regicide? Oh, <laughs> no, sir. You misapprehend me. For the most part, what you see here is the royal train of the Maharani Padmini Devi, or Jahalawar. A princess. Her Highness travels to Pankot under protection of company detachment, at Subhadar Palai commanding. As for regicide, I fear my prisoner is in no means so worthy of note. So what was the offence? The murder of an officer, sir, in furtherance to robbery of the regimental stores. Oh. The commissariat sets great store by its spoons, so it does. What's the bill, Mr. Buckler? Her Highness and the commonality are all accounted for, sir. Of company troops, four are numbered dead, including the surgeon. Six are wounded, of which two, including Subhadar Palai, are like to die. And your own section? Not a man come to harm, sir. But Colour Wormwood confides they gave good account of themselves. Though I confess, with all that befell, I'm hard pressed to order events. The fire and the fighting, the horses and all. Your first action? Yes, sir. You did well. I would hope so, sir. I was, you see, born to a soldier. Indeed. Perhaps you met him. You will have heard of him almost certainly. He was the man brevetted major at Victoria for capturing Marshal Jordan's baton. I don't believe I know him. You'd have taken to him, sir. Well, he was very brave, much admired by his men. It was, Mr. Butler. He fell, sir, at Bronsabouts when I was a boy. There was I thinking it was you and me that came across the marshal's baton at Victoria, abandoned in the baggage train along with King Joe's Royal Jake's pot. Yeah. Have your memories off, Pat. I must beg of your service, Colonel. Will you stay with the column? At least as far as Kalim gone. It's a lot to ask, I know, but it's only two days march. Besides. I should rest a lot easier knowing a senior officer were among us. You have Major Tredinik. An engineer, Colonel. There's no soldier. So would our Pilar is correct, Colonel. Better by far the men have someone of both rank and martial reputation to look to at such a time. You may depend on my support in every particular. I'm grateful, gentlemen. Colour Wormwood! Make ready the column to move out. Mr. Buckler. Whatever instruction you receive of Colonel Sharp, you may take as if the order were my own. If you say so, sir. Within the hour, Colour Wormwood. Something you wanted of us, Mr. Buckler? It's Miss Bonnie, sir. She's taken a horse. I tried to stop her, sir, but she said she would only be some short while.
hell do you think you're about? I wanted to ride. I can see that. Perhaps you forgot. But only last night we were attacked by Chitu's bandits. They will be far behind us by now. I wouldn't be so sure. And if I can track you, so can they. I will return presently. God knows I didn't look for this duty. But for better or worse, I'm responsible for your safety. Unhand me! You are rude, sir. You are rude and ignorant and an uncouth brute! And you, madam, are a spoiled, willful, petulant and selfish young fool. Selfish? If you will not take thought to your own well-being, then at least consider your fellow travellers. I've enough to do seeing the column safe to Callum Gong. We are chasing you up and down the country. Now get on your mount and follow me back. Or will you have me carry her? You would not dare. I was done with my ride anyway. What the hell was in those chests that were so important anyway? Opium, Pat. Grown under license from the company and destined for China. Same as they were raising in this village. Colonel Sharp is right, gentlemen. The company has these last years imported from China ever greater quantities of tea. Tea must be bought with something. How then to balance the books? By selling China the one thing she craves. It would seem this Joubert, then, sir has resolved to enter into the trade himself. Not just him, Mr. Buckler. The half-squadron of cavalry that came to Callum Gong was of the third native horse. It's dragging me off, stealing the harvest and blaming it on this rebel Chitu. If such a man even exists. Sir, I must speak with you. Can you not wait, Mr. Buckler? Very well, make it quick. Come away, then. I've not yet been assigned to position. My men have their orders. Lance Nike Singh has his orders. Even General Simerson... Mr. Beclair. I must I... know, sir. Is it because of my father? I thought you must have... He did not fall, as I have said. He did not storm the breach, nor capture the marshal's baton, but rather... He died as Kulawema deported. You are not your father. No, sir. But I look very like. At least my mother says. How a man counts upon the eye, Mr. Buckler means less than nothing. It's what's in his heart that matters. Which is why the most important job of all, I kept for you. For me, sir? Who else would I entrust to defend the mission and give protection to the ladies? Get to it now. Aye, sir. How stands the day, sir? Days, hours. Did I do my duty, sir? Aye. And more besides. Will you write my mother, sir? I would have her know our name was not dismayed. You will write and tell us so yourself, when you're able. Miss Bonnet tells me I shall mend. But blood demands soldiers deal plain. Am I to die, sir? Might I then? Presume upon your hands, sir. Until the moment is past. It has been the greatest honour of my life to serve beside you. The honour is mine. 
Hey, Isaac. Come on. Hey, <laughs> you might give him a kiss, man. Here's 40 shillings on the drop. Those who volunteer to come to this to fight before today. Over the hills and far away. Child of the storm. <laughs> <laughs> 